hey welcome back in this video we are going to talk about 15 uh, new phrases to express your emotion in a better way these phrases are wonderful phrases which will help you out to express your emotions nicely and it will also enhance the beauty of your language it will really improvise your vocabulary skills or language skills so let's get started flying high flying high means very happy so when you feel very happy about some uh, result or about something then you can say that i feel very i feel flying high today example she is flying high after the successful interview that means she is very happy after her after getting successful uh, success in her interview pumped up meaning very excited about something so he is pumped up for his first salary so this is really uh, one of the precious moments of our lives when we get first salary and first job so it's a very great feeling and we feel pumped up we feel very excited to join a company to join an organization and after getting first salary it's really awesome feeling for everyone feel out of it meaning to not to feel in a state of one's normal mind so at times it happens with everyone when we are not in a no normal state of mind and we feel very agitated very irritated so that's the condition where you can use this phrase feel out of it he just woke up from a night of heavy drinking and felt so out of it so this is an example of this phrase afraid of your own shadow that means to be very frightened sometimes it happens with confident people also they feel very scared and the time comes when they are scared of their own shadow as well so this sentence is talking about the same thing sometimes the people who appear to be the most confident are actually afraid of the of their own shadows feel butterflies in your stomach that means feeling nervous to experience the anxiety generally before when you are going to do something yes so when we are going to do some important work of our lives then we feel butterflies in our stomach like when we go for an interview when we go to give an exam or of course before wedding as well the bride had butterflies in her stomach as she got ready to walk down the aisle so uh, in this condition both a bride and groom both feel butterflies in her stomach in their stomachs because it's a situation where both are new to each other and they have to uh, uh, they have to spend the entire life after the wedding so this is really a situation where we feel butterflies in our stomach here uh, i would like to uh, explain two meanings as well friends the difference between wedding and marriage wedding is wedding talks about the entire event entire event which has got whole series of event that's why we write wedding invitation on the english invitation card but marriage is the date on which you are going to tie not with someone that's why we write marriage certificate marriage certificate talks about the date on which you have tied not with your wife or husband so marriage is talks about the marriage date whereas wedding talks about the whole event complete set of events which are be going to happen in the marriage so i hope you have got a difference between wedding and marriage drive up the wall meaning to annoy or irritate someone his tuneless singing and drumming on the table drive me up to the wall so sometimes we feel very annoyed annoyed or irritated so we can use drive up the ball so drive up the drive up the wall is used to express the irritation 
black mood to be angry or to be depressed or to be irritable so when you are, when we are in a black mood that means we are in a sad mood or very angry she is scared to ask for the weekend trip as her mother is in the black mood today that means her mother is in a very sad mood or very angry mood that said she was not able to ask the question so black mood means very angry or irritable mood bite someone's head off to respond to respond with anger to someone i asked him one simple question and he bit my head off to so the meaning of uh, these thing is this thing is to express your irritation or to reply someone in a very bitter way that's called bite someone's head off grief stricken grief stricken means extremely sad after his wife died in a car accident he was left grief stricken so of course when we lose someone in our lives we feel grief stricken and it is a very difficult situation to carry ourselves and carry the entire uh, situation be at the end of your rope meaning to feel very upset because you are no longer to able to deal with a difficult situation so uh, sometimes it happens like uh, we are not able to face the problems of our lives and we feel like uh, helpless so at that time you can use this phrase be at the end of your rope sounds like you are at the at the end of your rope be down in dumps meaning to feel unhappy or without hope she is a bit down in the dumps because she's got to take her exams again so let's say suppose you have given exams and you have to give the same exam again so you feel like down in dumps because you feel unhappy or like hopeless but some someone has says that don't lose hope is the moral of the story so don't lose hope you have to keep working and one day you will get your success so with this friends let's move on to the next phase fool's paradise meaning a situation when someone is happy because they are ignoring a problem or fail to realize its existence you must be in a fool's paradise if you think that it will rain at the time of such hot summers so fool's paradise means a situation where we know what the problem is but we are not ready to recognize it or accept it that's called fool para fool's paradise petrified of meaning extremely frightened especially so that you cannot move or decide what to do this is a condition of dilemma when you are not able to decide what to do next that's the condition the thought of us residing in utter blindness petrified me so petrified is a phrase which is used to express the situation of dilemma when you are not able to decide and move on with the situation puzzle over to think carefully about someone or something for a long time and try to understand them that's called puzzle over puzzle over is a phrase you can use when you're not able to decide something about someone that like this person uh, you are not able to accept or reject that person that's called puzzle over they puzzle over the question for a quite a wild that means they are not able to decide the uh, solution of the question or they are not able to understand the question they were in a like uh, in between that's called puzzle over ambivalent ambivalent about means feeling two different things about someone or something at the same time for example that you like them or dislike them this is same thing she is ambivalent to many things that may seem horif horrific to the reader so ambivalent means you are not able to decide something about someone that's called ambivalent about thanks for watching this video friends i hope you have enjoyed this video of trendy phrases to express the emotion in a better way and you have learned these phrases how to use these phrases in your day to day lives so 
if you are new to my channel do subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get latest notifications on your screen and enjoy the sessions please share these videos with your friends families and loved ones and it, it has got lots of information on english language there are a lot of playlists in the channel you can visit those playlist and you can get many information in english language i hope you have enjoyed do subscribe it and enjoy learning bye bye